Could you tell us uh, what brings you to Borodyanka specifically amid so many reports of Russian atrocities? I think probably the same thing that's brought you here. Right. It's the reports that uh, crimes within the court's jurisdiction, the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court, uh, may have been committed. Uh, I sent a, a team of investigators here yesterday. We're working also, I mean, show run by the uh, prosecutors uh, of Ukraine right. and the investigators here. So I want to have my own impression uh, of uh, some of the allegations here in Borodyanka. We went to uh, other uh, towns yesterday as well, and we'll keep on doing our job to make sure we get to the truth. And how long is the process going to take? The process will take as long as it needs, but we're trying to deploy focused investigations. We have forensic uh, crime scene officers, we have investigators, analysts uh, and lawyers, and we have to deal with some, uh, focus with some urgency so okay. we can get to the truth. But uh, as I said yesterday, there's uh, allegations of, of war crimes, crimes against humanity, uh, and crimes within the jurisdiction of the court throughout of Ukraine, right. uh, from Mariupol to, uh, of course, uh, um, where we're standing today right. and we need to conduct uh, investigation so we don't just rely upon rumor right. and speculation right. but can make sure that we get to the truth and whatever we receive we have to scrutinize it yes. and uh, check it's uh, authentic it's reliable right. it's not fake uh, and it's truthful and we do that also by conducting our own investigations mm -hmm. as well as subjecting whatever we receive to proper independent scrutiny and on the basis of what you've seen so far are you in a position to make any conclusions I'm in the position to keep investigating right. and uh, as I said yesterday, uh, we're here for a reason. We made determinations that uh, there's reasonable grounds to believe that crimes within the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court have been committed. Ukraine uh, filed two declarations in 2014 and 15 accepting the jurisdiction of the court. It's their territory and so uh, we are investigating crimes of this magnitude to see whether or not um, They've been committed, if so, who's responsible? And then we will put proper uh, cases, if necessary, before the judges and they'll make determinations. Could there be a tribunal eventually looking at these allegations if they're borne out to be very serious? Well, we have one. It's called the International Criminal Court. Right, no, but in terms of specifically targeting Russia with this partic particular set of allegations? I'm not targeting any country. I'm looking at crimes or all parties to a conflict, whether Ukrainians, whether they're Russians, have responsibilities to uh, comply with the laws and customs of war. They have an obligation to comply uh, with uh, uh, their own statute obligations right. because Ukraine has accepted the jurisdiction. Right. And uh, we will look uh, you know, with an open mind, uh, uh, looking at the investigations, sure. conducting investigations, and uh, we will make determinations based upon evidence. Right. And that's what's required by independent investigators, independent prosecutors, um, and uh, let the you know dice fall where they may. I mean, we have to uh, do our job and at the end uh, we will have hopefully a better picture of what took place and who if anybody's responsible.